Bam. Okay, so now the titles are read. Quite a simplistic change, but it will show you basic steps into what to uh, do with Tamper script to adjust any website you're liking, uh, YouTube specifically. All right, so let's turn this thing off and the new one on and let's get going. Right, so first I like to just check whether the script runs at all, whether it works at all. So let me just use the JavaScript alert method to create this sort of pop-up. Save this, reload, and yep, yeah. okay, so it runs, works. Cool, so now let's start doing something useful. This is a title, I'll go with inspect to help me understand how this page is built. Right, okay, so what I'm seeing is that the video title has an ID video title. So that's quite useful. So let's see in the console whether we can actually use it to get all the elements. So let me check document query selector all. And now to use the, the title or the ID, ID it's used with the hash, so now let me inspect again. I forgot what was the video dash title. Okay, so it's hash video dash title. And this should return a node list 35. Okay, so 35 videos, hopefully. So let me check the first element. Okay, so if I get first element, it highlights this first. That's an adver, actually, the title, right? Again, yeah. So it seems that we can use we can use that. So let's stick with the first. Cool. Right. So we've got this. How you change the color? So you can use the style element and has different properties. One of it is color. So we can just assign color red. Okay. So it works in the console. Now let's let's do that in in the script. So I can just copy this and see if it works. And we'll see it probably won't, but uh, let's show it first. Okay. Here. All turn on, okay. Let's refresh. So this works too, it runs too soon. That's the issue here. So we want something to, to delay it. And what you can do is use set timer. So let me just show you here how it works, right? So you, uh, first you need to give it a method. So let's create some method. Right, and this method is going to oh wait, say blah. Okay, and then you give it number of milliseconds. So let's give it three thousand milliseconds or three seconds. We see what happens. Okay, after three seconds, you've got this pop up, right? So what we can do is use exactly the same uh, technique, right? But But do uh, the change color here, right? So, so it's gonna be like like that. So set timeout. This is going to be what we're gonna do. Bam. Okay, and then three, three seconds. That that looks fine. Okay, so now save. Go back to this window and reload. Cool. Okay, so now we have this uh, small delay. Now this title is red. Cool. So now, okay, what? This is first title. Great. Uh, what to do to get all of them? Uh, so with this, you can use the for each 
method, right? So here, document uh, query selector, it returns an array, right? Here we're accessing only the first one, first element. So let's let's use for each, which takes, which is going to run something for every every item. So let's let's create a function for that. So it's going to be some item. Let's, let's call it item, and let's create this method where it takes the item and adds a style of color. Okay, that's it. So let's save, get back to the window and reload. 